Hey everybody, this is Shea Walker with All Garage Floors and today we're going to discuss applying clear coat sealers to one part epoxy paint. We're going to discuss whether it's actually a good idea to do this or not and we're also going to include a few different sealers that we recommend if you decide to do so. This is a topic that actually comes up quite frequently on our website and can have some important ramifications if you don't do it correctly. So please do us a favor and subscribe to our channel below. That way we can update you with new videos when they become available. And let's get started. Now, one of the more common questions we've been getting the last few years on our website is what kind of clear coat sealer can I apply to one part epoxy paint? Now, we get these questions for a variety of reasons, but the most predominant one is that people don't like the finish. It's very dull or it's not glossy. It's not shiny enough for them. And even though it clearly states on these cans that it's only available in either a matte or satin finish, we can understand why they may feel otherwise. For example, if you look at this Rust-Oleum can of one part epoxy paint, you can clearly see that in their depiction, it looks like the car has a reflection in the paint itself, like it's very glossy. Well, we can tell you right now that that is not the case. You are not going to get that with one part epoxy paint. It has a very dull look to it. It's a nice clean look, but it's still dull. The problem is that one part epoxy paint was never intended to have a clear coat applied in the first place. In addition, with just one exception, which we will talk about here in just a moment, Clear coat sealers for garage floors are not compatible with paint or one part epoxy paint. They are designed only to adhere to each other. So in other words, if you were to apply an actual two part epoxy coating to your garage floor and then a uh, two part epoxy clear coat, they're going to chemically adhere to each other. They won't do that with the paint. If you were to apply it just to paint, the moment you drive a car on it, it's all going to want to start peeling up because it's not going to stick properly. There's a way to get around that though, and that's what we want to talk about here. What you need to do if you want to apply a clear coat sealer to one part epoxy paint is that you need to first scuff up the surface of the dried paint with 120 to 150 grit sandpaper. This will provide the profile on the paint in order for the, the clear sealer to achieve a mechanical bond to adhere properly. Now, there's a couple issues that you need to think of before you decide on doing this. The first one is, is that the process of scuffing up the paint is also going to remove some of your uh, uh, color flakes that you've applied to the paint, particularly the ones that weren't adhered as, as well as the others. So you may have patchy areas that have less color flakes than others. Something else to consider, and this is more important, is that the majority of clear coat sealers that are available are solvent based and solvents tend to soften paint and epoxy paint. So if you apply a solvent based clear coat to your one part epoxy paint, chances are is that it's, it's going to soften and then the color is going to bleed through the clear coat as you are rolling it on and then you're going to have one big mess on your hands. There are two products that we recommend that you use that will work, however. The first one is Rust-Oleum Epoxy Shield Clear Coat Epoxy. The one that you want to use is 100% solids. It doesn't have any solvents in it. And we have a link to it down below. The other one that you can use is Rust-Oleum Rock Solid Polycuramine Clear Coat. It is a 96% solids with very few actual solvents in it, so it is safe to use as well. The primary difference between the two is that rock solid is going to be glossier than epoxy shield and it will provide more abrasion and chemical resistance. However, it does cost more than the epoxy shield does. Now, 
The benefit to using either one of these is that they will provide superior chemical stain and abrasion resistance over an actual one part epoxy. All right, so those are great benefits to have. However, the one Achilles heel that you need to be aware of is that it still will not prevent hot tire pickup. And the reason for that is that it's the paint that is adhered to the concrete and not the clear coat. And these clear coats cost three to four times more than the actual epoxy paint. So you can spend all this money to put this nice clear coat on top of the paint only to have it peel up from hot tires at some point. So that's a risk you need to consider if you're going to do this. Now there is one other product that you can apply. This is the exception that we were talking about. Up to this point, no one made a product that was specifically designed to be applied to one part epoxy. Well, Rust-Oleum has now come up with their own product. It's this right here. It's an acrylic clear coat. All right, it's a clear acrylic. It's water-based, so it's safe to put on the paint. And this is their concrete and garage clear finish top coat. This is their, their gloss finish. They also have it in matte. The advantage to a water-based acrylic is that it can be applied directly to the paint after it has dried without any other prep. You don't have to sand it or anything like that. So that is an advantage right there. It also is much less expensive than the other clear coats. That's another advantage. It is not going to be as durable as epoxy shield or rock solid though. It will provide better stain resistance and chemical resistance than the paint itself. Okay, but it's not going to provide uh, the uh, hot tire resistance or anything like that. It's just like the other clear coats. You're still going to run the risk of hot tires peeling everything up, um, but it does cost less. It's a lower performing clear coat compared to the other two, but it's also much less expensive. So that is a product that you can apply and you can also use it for the other one part epoxy paints as well, such as bare, seal, crete, dry lock, and etc. So those are the three that you can apply to your one part epoxy paint. Now, if you have any questions, please Make some comments below, or better yet, visit our website. We're very active there. We're answering questions all the time. And if you can, remember to subscribe down below. That way you will get notices when we provide new videos. And thanks for watching.